Google Kickstart Round E 2020. First problem is longest arithmetic. So here we are given an array and we have to find out the max length of the array, subconscious array which have same difference between consecutive numbers. So this is the given input example. So let's understand. So here difference is 3. This difference is 3. Now the next difference is uh, 2 and same way like uh, for these two difference is 2 and these two element difference is 2. We have to find the uh, difference between consecutive numbers. So here this three number is the first subarray with the same difference. This is the second subarray and this is the sub third subarray. Here for the first subarray the length is 3, for second subarray length is 4, and for third or fourth array it is 1. So we have to print out the max length that is 4. Here the difference is 1, uh, difference is 2, 2 and 2. And the length is 4. So our answer is 4. For this example the difference is uh, 0. Okay. So and for this is minus 1 ok I, I write 0 now this is minus 1 we can go from left to right or right to left doesn't matter for this one the difference is uh, plus 1 let's say we are creating j minus j minus 1 difference is 0 difference is 0 for this one difference is uh, minus 1 for this one difference is 1 and here difference is again 1. Now here we have two subarrays with a length of here uh, 5, 5 and 5 with the same difference and length is 3. This is third, second with the same difference of 3. So answer is 3. So all we have to find out is just run a for loop, go from left to right and find out the difference of consecutive uh, element a pair of two elements and every time we find the new length we store that and every time we find a, a new max we update our answer and at the end we print out the maximum length so that's integer t that is what x case is and we have a integer n and uh, first get the input of our array so input of n and uh, let's say we have store it in array form uh, input of the array we write a for loop to get values now if we get our input let's say how we solve it so let's say first we have a variable let's say difference to store the difference between two numbers now we run a for loop start from zero and go up to the last one and uh, uh, first of all for the first time we have to uh, find the difference of first two elements so if it is starting then difference is first element minus zeroth element so now we find out our difference other than that let's say uh, we have to compare the difference that if our jth element like here when j equal to zero we get the value of difference for the first two element and for j is greater than zero we have to compare the difference so let's say if uh, j element minus j minus one element means one minus zero two minus one three minus two like that if the difference is same equal to a difference value then we have to increment our length to of our sub our array so length we get a variable length and we update it plus plus if it is not same it means uh, that subarray is over and we have to start a new subarray so we update the value of difference so difference equal to a new value and uh, now our length that we have previous subarray we have to compare it with uh, max value if it is let's say our answer is equal to 0 
sleep over length of our previous subarray is greater than the max value then we update the max value otherwise we don't do, do nothing and after that we have to uh, change the value of length to 2 because we are starting a new subarray here like say we are here 4 to 6 then we are starting new subarray so our length is already 2 then we got 6 to 8 so now it become 3 and then 8 to 10 so it become 4 so every time we start a new subarray the length is already 2 and new difference for that subarray and then this is our simple code we can do it in o n time so this is good enough to pass the test cases and at the end we have to print out answer so let's see if our length is bigger than our answer means our next length then we update our answer and if it is already less than our answer it means we have to simply print out our statement so we have to print out our answer that is the maximum length of a subarray with the same difference of consecutive element so that's it let's copy our code and paste here and submit we can do it in o n square time but in that case we got our time limit error in big test cases here we got correct answer our code is submitted